All right, all right, all right. Let's kick this off, man. Let's hope this is a good stream today. No technology issues would be amazing. Because I can see I've already looked at the wrong thing. All right. Here we go. Successfully posted that we're live to Twitch. Uh, as always, man, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're a day late. Okay. Links in the description. Um, but we got this all time 76ers versus all time magic squad. 76ers, uh, kind of in a down year last year, despite making the playoffs as crazy as that seems. Um, uh, but uh, with the retirement of some people and, and some people getting older, you know, you got BJ Cannon stepping in the starting five. Um, whereas the Magic, I mean, this has been their starting five. This is the, the, the whole time, right? Um, and for whatever reason, their chemistry, they just have not been able to. You think it'd be Oop City? It's not, okay? It's Poop City, all right? So they're going to have to turn things around. Both these teams are three and five. Um, someone's going to have to take the right step uh, to, to turn things around here tonight. At home... Two relatively close teams on paper. I'm gonna go with the magic for this one Well, the weekend has officially begun and we welcome you to this 2k sports presentation mm. check in that rebound NBA basketball this is I, I mean Orlando drafted Kellogg and Greg um, Anthony ooh, David ooh. Aldridge is on our sideline. Uh, it's the Philadelphia Orlando had a good draft. And the so Orlando awesome. Magic. Now a look at Philadelphia's yeah. starting lineup. Cunningham is out there with MB. Then there's Tony. You know, things are looking up for him. Yeah, the thing with Orlando is that their starting five is good. The oh, and you know, they left Cunningham, Cunningham wide open. And he's good on the three ball. Cunningham's got his team uh, on the board to start Their bench the has been a huge liability for him. You know, they still have some, some tuning to do, but uh, the bench is definitely much better this season than it's ever been. Here's Embiid, good oh. for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. That's like this, though. It don't really matter how good your bench is if you... <laughs> That thing if you're not going to play Andy defense Rob at all, I mean, leaving Cunningham wide open and then nice I mean, Shaq getting absolutely crucified by Joel Embiid down low and then Penny Hardaway no good. chucking up whatever that was. The defense pay for the lax coverage that time. You know, that's, I, I, I don't know, but. <laughs> it's stolen hmm. by McGrady. Hmm. Now, here's Howard. Defense right on him. Mm. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three point play chance here for him. Dwight Howard is a big, strong, active guy. Even when you hit him, he still is at the house. House in the house. And he's got his Alert. first chance at the light. Getting a chance to go to the wall. Shooting one. Uh, he's doing that. Let's see. It. And that Ooh, one misses. Miss. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a three-point game. McGrady against Maxi, And there's the pass to Embiid. Over Hill. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Maxi. That's a nice soft touch from Embiid. Boy, he's so smooth for a guy of his size. Scoring inside for him looks effortless. Now here is Hardaway. Here's McGrady. Bangs home the trifecta. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Maxie against McGrady. 
Cunningham looking it over. Passes it to Embiid. <laughs> Joel. Over Howard. Ooh. And again, it's Philadelphia. Joel can go to work. Out here, right out of the gate. Perfect. Four, but four he's going to have to go to work on Dwight I'm and Shaq. And uh, David I believe the rookie hey, they drafted. I did speak earlier with is the Magic's head yeah. coach. This is the first Here I am like, oh, yeah, they had a good draft. Team. Team. Wants to rely hmm. on Grant Hill. Hmm. They told me if we can disrupt their offensive flow early and deny them easy looks, they can wear them down over the course of the night to get the win. Oh, yeah, they drafted Felix Mendes, who's, who's also powerful. Ooh. It's going to come down to hustle. And in this league, you have to be very quick to rotate mm. when you're in help. And that's why communication is so Great important. Hills. Guys Great have to talk to each other on the defensive end. I heard a coach once say that talking is energy, and energy is execution. And here's Malone after Grant Hill just hit the three and Ooh. beat the screen. Ooh, got them all mixed up. Oh, and wow. No good that time. And it's the magic. Dwight Howard and Jack able to defend that successfully. I was going to say, Joel Embiid, I mean, he's going to eat. Don't get me wrong, but he's, they're going to trade it off between Shaq and, and Dwight. And even use some guys off the bench if they need to, you know, foul him and slow him down a little bit. So is he going to be able to continue to eat in the fourth quarter? That's the question. Six to shoot. Over Howard. Embiid, no good. The Orlando Magic coming to this one following a loss to the Also, I mean, that's exactly what they need right there. Too bad Maxie was on the way to. Sinks the triple. Embiid's You need people like Hill. His consistency in terms of Brady to seize control. Stretch the floor, but because what you really need is to set up those hoops inside those pick and rolls right there. Right to Shaq. Two big athletic guys. Gotta get him going. Maxi with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Ooh, cannon wide open. For Philadelphia. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. This magic squad. Offensive play. Not too good at defending the three ball. Here's McGrady. Luckily, though, the Ooh. 76ers are not too good at shooting. It's a parallel wide open. Just, just focusing on the task. Grant Hill, I think this is third. That's all you can do. Three. Yeah, these Tonight. teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Down this low. is where Joel has to go outside. They also have the Malone. They're going to they're gonna switch with Shaq to the hoop. I and Dwight on, room to finish that on Joel, but... Jack with a screen. Yeah, you also have Malone down there as well. Brady kicks to Howard for three. Hill. And mm. again, it's Orlando with the three. Man, Hill. He's on fire. Show that killer instinct this quarter looking to extend the lead. 12 points. Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. This is the thing. Going Phoenix Mendes, he's powerful. He can stretch the floor. If he was on the floor there, I think he takes that shot. Set of pass. It's Grant Hill. I don't think he should take that shot. You know? That was that was that was a questionable attempt. Great make, though. Right? Um, whereas, you know, Dwight was basically wide open. I mean, you know, you know he's never gonna put that up, but Felix Mendes. A little smaller in stature, but he can put that up. See, that's what of team this Orlando right team should be doing right there. It should be all how they lose all the time. Bring down with some thunder. Yeah. I tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery hmm. at its finest. Look, Howard and Kawhi. That's not a good clock. matchup out there, at least. On the way, finds Hill. And it's good, assisting on the point. Dang, bro. Hardaway. Hardaway has got his averaging 16 points a game the early in the season. He's already got 14, 15 points. Cannon pass to Maxi. Embiid with a screen on the oh, that's a bucket. On number hmm. three for Philadelphia. Too much help defense. Already finding by the spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. And here is Hardaway. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Mud Brady with That's the ball. A, yeah, that should, that should be a bucket. 
that shouldn't have, that shouldn't even be like that. That should have just been a straight so up. Here is Philadelphia. They trail by one. Running out. T Mac definitely has the uh, passing vision. Facing on the way, and the shot no good, a bit short. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space oh, for himself. But the fatal that is and what the magic needs. There's not much that Heal does not do well. He does a bunch of good That's things. That's what the magic needs. Spotting the open man. Just passes to Shaq and Dwight. Because with a head of steam, bro, those two are so far. unstoppable. Hill pulls it in. Magic leading by three. Now here is Hardaway. And he throws it down. How about the vertical of Hill? Outstanding. Rising up and ramming it home. Mm. Yes, sir. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Hill's gone six or seven from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. Pass to Embiid. Oh, and he mm. flips it off the glass. Wow. What a defensive effort. I'm about to say if Shaq's throwing the oops. That's wild, but and throws it down. Joel. An almost unfair amount of power. Nobody. He can go finesse and power. Here's McGrady, and he's down right on top of Joel and B. Doing it with style. McGrady punishing the team. Giving him that kind of airspace. Timeout called the 76ers. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. All right, now we're seeing the swap. It's up now. This is where we have the differential, right? We got Sissoko, whatever his Thanks name is. Iverson. You got Allen Iverson. Of the key. Here's Will Chamberlain. The baby hook. Yeah, I'll tell you, the combination you know, of a Julius Irving, fan I think Shay. No, wait, who, who is this? Whoever they drafted this year, I think. Where is, now, here is Nelson. you know, and it's going to Nelson. Uh, Here's Burks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bob Burks. Uh, this is Iverson. Orlando Black, I think, is his name. And Phoenix Wendell, so. Screen on Nelson. And you got Wendell Carter as well. Oh, the lob to Irving. Oh, Burks with the steal. Great steal with great anticipation. But look, he doesn't have any vision as he misses Nelson. Wide open, but. I guess he didn't really need to. One of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. There's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess. Uh, Dario Bird. Not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. Just fine. Dario Turk. Yeah, Turk. 146 left to play in the first quarter. Shot from the wing and good mm. as it just snugs right down through the net. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Orlando. I think that's window Carter, really too. They've been disruptive on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. Now, here's Brooks. Oh, after Julius nice Irving's right there. And he's fouled oh, for yeah. on that yeah, shot, he's got he's, the chance to pick up the points at the now, line. That's on Allen Iverson. You know, both of Wendell Carter Jr.'s parents <laughs> play basketball at a really high level. And you know what I like to say? You cannot run away from the DNA. And I think you see that DNA of his parents Ooh. in his game. I don't know if he's getting now, a little up there in age, but he can still. We're still looking for his first bucket in this one. Yeah, he can still crisscross applesauce you. Same with Julius Erwin. Orlando grabs the Maybe he needs to start taking his game more outside, though, you know? Often, especially right at the rim. The pass to Nelson. Kicks to Black. Works for three. Ooh. Drills. Ooh. Three pointer. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple yeah, just give Bob Burst the ball. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Feeds it to Iverson. Inside. Here's Chamberlain. Good. And it's Iverson who yeah, picks up the assist. Eat all day Defensively, no matter how bench. athletic or physical or intentional you are, there's very little you can do once Wilk gets the ball inside. What are they looking for here? Got everybody coming. Iverson against Nelson. 
Set it up. Someone's gonna do something. There we go. Oh, the old double screen, the cheeky double screen that does not even get him remotely open because he ran that so Here's Nelson and Joe. Hey, that's gonna be the end of the quarter, though. I mean, 35 to 26. Magic should be able to seal this at home. Already off to a nine-point lead after the first quarter. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> that's a good 12-point game right there. Um. <laughs> Did they ever get back into it? Was it ever really close? I mean, yeah, it was two points at half. Oof, and they pulled back another nine point lead going into the fourth. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was, you know, that fourth quarter probably wasn't very entertaining. Uh, and, and that actually leads me to, I gotta check out Joel Embiid's fourth quarter numbers. But even with the Magic shooting much less, uh, percentage-wise from three, they, they put up so many more shots. The 76ers, man, you, in this league today, you, you got to attempt more threes, man. And that'll probably help your percentage inside. Um, you know, even if it does come at the cost of coming, you know, taking away a few free throws, right? Uh, but to get, you know, to have the rebound numbers be even for this Magic squad, you know, that's huge. Um to pass the ball as well as they did, and for their bench to outperform the 76ers bench, that's huge for them. Their bench is better than it's ever been this season. Um, you know, is it good enough to to get them where they want to be? I don't know. But, uh, you yeah, know, we'll, we'll see. Um, let, let's take a look. We, we got to take a look at the box score here. So, BJ Cannon, actually, with 21 points. Um, Joel Embiid... Only scored two more points after that first quarter. Wow. So they, they really boxed him up. Yeah, he got you know, a couple blocks in there. Um, That was really about it. You know, Cunningham had to come in with rebounds. Will Chamberlain had to get the rebounds off the bench. Um, You know, so that's that's... Interesting to see from them, and then you know the Dario Turk pretty much doing nothing for them as well. Orlando, though, man, Grant Hill came out on fire 16 points in the first quarter. Uh, Nelson had 18 points off the bench, which is wild. Uh, Tracy McGrady with eight assists, which is uh, all right, but I mean, Shaq, yeah, six of nine, eight rebounds, three blocks. Uh, Dwight Howard probably even more impressive with eight rebounds and five blocks, zero turnovers. And Benny had, you know, you know he's going to get double-digit assists, right? <laughs> you know, 14 assists. Um, uh, that's that's really it, though. Uh, no one really played a spectacular game. I guess it was just about who played the, the least bad. <laughs> All right, up next, we got the all-time Jazz versus the all-time Suns. Jazz team, I think, went from one and four to now they're four or one and three, I think, to now they're four and three. Um, they've been on an impressive little streak since officially switching Pete Maravich to the point, John Stockton to the shooting guard. Suns um, have just kind of been, you know, they win some, they lose some here and there a team that went to the NBA finals this past season 
starting out four and three here at home, you know, they, they really want a, a win to get away from that 500 number. I think the Suns are probably going to pick this one up, but we'll see. Happy Friday night, everyone. Time to kick off the weekend with the NBA on 2K Sports. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. We've got the Utah Jazz and the Barkley. Phoenix Suns. He's been playing at MVP Utah. levels for the past few seasons, actually. Let him get into a no, I think he's Alpair. been second in MVP. Go. Well, no, he's been third in MVP voting. voting. Next to Jordan and LeBron. Just takes a 13 -footer. crazy. Oh, oh, he <laughs> got hacked. The Jazz maybe got some, a chance to do something here on a broken play. He Maravich still going to score. Uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great Jazz uh, drafting Sean Simmons, who's uh, in there starting lineup for them over Carl Malone. Uh, he gives him a true big man presence. And, um, you know, it's, I think it's important for them to get in the lineup now. Um, whereas the Suns team, they drafted uh, Shannon Nelson, who didn't really hear much from him. Summer league, in the off season, like he's coming, I think, deep, deep off the bench. He's even playing at all for them. So, you know, one of these teams really hasn't improved. Although, I mean, hey, they made all the way to the NBA Finals. I mean, it's not much improving they have to do. Um... Whereas the Jazz have made big changes. It'd be interesting. I mean, if you're in the Utah Jazz team, you can make these changes and come out and compete with you know, your Western Conference champions. Here's Maravich. Hey, six points for him. Probably make a run. Probably not only get to the playoffs, but make a run in the playoffs. Here's Kirilenko. Oh, plenty of crazy on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Kirilenko going out. Now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Phoenix. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Yeah, man. Want to keep an eye on Charles Barkley? This game for sure, but also want to keep an eye on Pete Maravich and John Stock. You can tell how they can match it. I've said this even from season himself. one. Pete Maravich and John Stockton are on the same page. Right yeah, and He'll head to the line. Jazz team's a tough team to beat. <laughs> tough team to beat. Mm -hmm. Falls for him. Introduce some new blood into the lineup. Kalabali and Simmons. That one falls. Kalabali was drafted so last week. So, I mean, it can help a big man to hit those him. free throws. It His keeps the defense from He's getting too aggressive. For Adrian Hanley. To the inside. Oh, it's stolen. Pedro Saramago, though. He's a defensive Simmons anchor defending. for them. And uh, he tends to go off. <laughs> Watch their games. Left side, oh, that's a bucket. The three is up. Good on Devin Booker to realize the Charles Barkley he has six. is wide Devin open. Booker he has been scorer, phenomenal to put it in the past two, three seasons. He's been. Let's go with the three. Uh, it's hauled in by the Sun. You know, it's, it's hard I mean, he's, to he's payback when been almost averaging a triple end. double. I think one season force you to rush things. He did average a triple double. Pass one MVP. And then the last two seasons, Outside he's been Booker, behind footer. only Jordan the rebound by Simmons. Well, that's a good defensive winning. coverage, but MVP it doesn't matter. Years. He cannot answer the bell. From deep. Oh. Maravich oh. with the bucket. But that's what Pete gives you, man. John Stockton. First quarter of action. He's not really looking to pull the trigger. And a half minutes play. Yeah, he's looking. From oh. The arc. Another mm. three for Phoenix. He's looking more like, you know, he's, more, he's looking to really you know, get it down low. He's looking to pull the trigger. And he pulls off some circus shots. Pass 
Samarovic. Oh, oh, I mean, Let's look at Pete. 14. Here's Simmons. Mm. And slam dunk by Simmons. I like that put back by Simmons. That's exactly what Carmen would have done. All on the boards. Yeah, doing serious work. He likes being an anchor on the glass. Well, but his defenders keep forgetting the box Ooh. now. He continues but to I don't know if Carmen would have done that. This Suns team, man, just so potent. Charles Barkley gives them this one for three. And the Suns with the way he's been playing, man, he just gives them so, so many each one. Utah trailing here. Hmm. Now they got Stockton. And Stockton. another thing, even, well, even no though they switched yet from him, but that's eight. likely to change. In, in Stockton. Second shot opportunity, Ooh. and Simmons lays it in. They can still, You're you know, Stockton can always bring it up. Alive, something this yeah, guy does shooting. so well. And Pete, Here's believe it or not, he's actually he's less of a six. liability defensively at the point guard position. But Stockton, you know, he's only 6'1". He's, he's still defending that shooting guard spot. And now Pete Maravich Simmons. in transition. This is what you pay to see, folks, right here. Eat. Inside. Oh, oh nice that would have went. If that would have went, I'd have clipped that so quick. Boy, I would have. <laughs> you know, I would have clipped that so quick. Here's Nash. Outside Booker. Hmm. Knocked Ooh. away. Oh. Four on the clock. Oh, there we go. Goes back Ooh. up. Ooh. Oh, wow. Pass to Nash. Arkley. Booker. Watches it. And Ooh. Booker hits from deep. Say. Booker's got the Arkley to Nash. Oh, he's just waiting threes for them early. Booker's gotten three of his five to go Nothing tonight. Nothing his pass, but Nash, I'm not wrong. I'm kick it right over to Booker. Here's Stockton. They set a pick from outside the mm. arc. Mm. Can't, get, can't get it to go. To fall. Absolutely tenacious guy. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. Pass to Nash. Jacks up a three. Oh, rebound, wow. Utah. Simmons it's like that's has a got rebound. four rebounds oh, now. Carmel oh, Wallace getting that off the Simmons shot comes out. The Suns go the other way with it. Sweet Nash like that. Oh, that was sweet. Simmons eat on the board. Things so, just man. don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Yeah, put the ball in Pete's hands. Let him generate. Pass to Simmons. Oh, that's great, man. Simmons with a screen on Booker. Stockton. The Jazz oh, say Stockton taking a wild three there. Let's try to get them in this and you can kind of sense that they're getting a little desperate now, yeah. They're gonna take their second time. Right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Trying to regroup here. On the road, hostile environment. The fan base that's been rejuvenated by the Suns. Pass to Simmons. Changes the past couple of seasons. With a screen on Booker. Oh, Pete. Maravich. That's a, that's a, yeah, I was saying, that's a bucket. <laughs> you knew it was a bucket. He is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just when not getting When people love like help. that, even though it looks like a circus shot, like, you just, you know it's a bucket. And now they're going to say, oh, oh, perfect. I mean, look, he just does everything. Pretty dime there, the kind of ball right. movement coaches love to see. Pass to Simmons. Pedro, though. Simmons with a screen I mean, on Booker. 17 points a game. Dude, John Stockton shooting the wildest stuff I've ever seen in my life. And here are the Suns now. Give the Nine ball to Pete. Let him work. There's the triple. And the mm. basket by Nash. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense. I mean, Charles like Park. So, and you know the thing is though, he is most dangerous in transition. So them scoring, here's Simmons. It's really open moves up, but he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. He's wild. He should have just. I mean, he should have been a left hand leg. Probably would have been a foul. But he gets it to Simmons, who puts it up over Barkley and Pedro. Pedro has been a defensive monster for him. And then he gets a trip to the line out of it. And now we're seeing some substitutions, so. Uh, now here's Booker. Nash. It looks like and Pedro. Goes to the reverse uh, layup. Sir Mongo. Are Booker's coming in. 
And they've settled in quickly and then for today. the Jazz. And slow in rhythm to their offense. Everyone is out except for Simmons. Simmons with a screen on Johnson. Williams from long range. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Booker pass to Johnson. Ooh. Here's Stoudemire. Simmons defending. Oh wow. And out of bounds. How did he back them all the way out of bounds? Or did Simmons play him? And he lost his, his footing. The Jazz Thinking on back offense. Back. They trail by 11. Simmons with a screen on Johnson. Now Williams. Yo, if you ask me, just chuck it up. Let Simmons eat, man. Clock at six. Hayward for three. Utah gets it. Back. I mean, dude, he's Simmons. getting <laughs> He's getting rebounds like he's Charles Barkley. He's getting rebounds over Rebound Charles Barkley. Simmons. <laughs> Simmons has got rebound number seven tonight. Hayward outside. Pass to Williams. Back to Hayward. Mm, the three ball. And the mm. three-pointer goes. Listen, this guy's a viable threat from deep range. With a lot of time put into it, Gordon Hayward has morphed into a consistent three-point threat. Now here's Booker. He's got 13. Oh, that's a good step back. Phoenix no good that time either. Doesn't get his drop though. Here's Danley. Outside, Williams. Oh, he wanted to pull that. Shoots over Johnson. That went off the back the iron and out. Some solid Great work by the defense. That's the, the Suns team coaches though. want to see. Two minutes remaining. I mean, they're showing you why they're Western the Conference champions. Buries it from three. Booker's got 16 points now. Oh, Booker with a silent 16. I mean, you're talking about what paper has been doing defensively, what Charles Barkley's been doing for him all around. Booker's got 16 points in the night. Here's Danley. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. That's how deadly the Suns team is. Uh, Booker's got a buyer. Simmons Dude, defending. Twice now. Out of bounds. Not bad. It'll go to the Jazz. Both teams will make substitutions. Booker. Can get 20 points and, and one nobody even really left notices. to play in the first. You know, and now you got Here's the Danley. whole bench is in for the, uh, for the Utah Jazz at the moment. Uh, and everybody, Tipped. Uh, sorry, uh, Naji and Here's Barkley Malone. are still in for the Suns for their starting five. Oh wow! It's out of the Jazz able to retain oh, possession here. Stoudemire. It's time to take a glance again at that mm. superb block. Oh, amazing indeed. She followed and it perfectly, tracked like it perfectly. Encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Shutting down. Mm. Mm. To the right side. Here's Griffith. Drives oh. to the hoop. Oh, wait, good rebound. Four, four shot attempts. Let's see. Tough break there. Shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. And yeah, they've been a horrible 33 percent. Williams defending. The Suns team. One of the better defenses in the NBA. Charles Barkley's gonna get doubled. Grabs a miss. Fortunate that he doesn't make him pay. Has been a focal point for them. Trying to find a spark here. Oh, the passing was great. I lost track of Hayward, but Najee did not. And now both Najee and Barkley are in takeover. We've got 22 seconds left in the first. Williams from long range. And Williams just chucking up everything. back on track. Oh, yeah, nice little lay on the oop there. They're starting to run away with this, yeah. Uh, I think second best defense in the in the league last season. That was their big evolution. Really. Defensively, they tightened up and offensively. And then being able to go in transition helped them so much more. They find themselves up, up 13 here at home. They should be able to seal the deal, I would imagine, as they they do. Uh, Twelve point victory. Um, although, hey, this Utah Jazz team managed to drop 135 points on the Suns. Like I said, the team that was the second best defense in the in the league after the uh, first quarter that was abysmal. So, you know, they managed managed to turn things around for sure. Um, 
Although maybe they didn't. <laughs> maybe they they didn't. They were down 25 at half. Had a big third quarter to rally them back. I mean, that's what, 20 points right there, or 18 points right there. So they're only down seven going into the fourth, but um, yeah, shot an abysmal 22% from beyond the arc, uh, which definitely killed them, but also let the Suns get to the line 19 times in one quarter, and they converted all 19. That's a that's a killer. That's an absolute killer. Um, when you think about of the 28 times total that they went to the line, 19 of them came in the fourth quarter. Uh, this Suns team, you know, that's the difference between championship caliber teams, man. So they know how to close out games. They knew how to close out this game. Let's get to the line. They dominated the boards, um, which I'm sure led to easy opportunities, but also, you know, allowed them to capitalize on the poor shooting percentage of the Jazz. As this Utah team is really good at taking advantage of broken plays. Can't really do that if you don't get rebounds off your misses. Um, you know, I, I mean, that everything they wanted, they had it on the floor. Charles Barkley was getting double team scoring, you know, Pedro Saramago's getting the little, you know, Najee was getting the little one-handed lays on the, on the alley oops. You know, they were passing the ball rebounds, passing the ball back out wide open, Devin Booker, everything they wanted. They got it, man. Um, so you know, let's, let's take a look here. Yo, Pete. <laughs> Dude had 12, a four for four in, in, from, from beyond the arc in the first Man went 10 of 18, 6 of 8. Simmons had 24 points with 8 rebounds, 2 blocks. Dantley had 18 points off the bench. Carl Malone still managed to get 12 points off the bench. Aaron Williams managed to get 11, although he went 4 of 12 to do it. Karolinko even, I mean, had 2 steals, 2 blocks, you know, managed to get some points. Where is John Stockton, bro? 2 of 8? 2 of 8, my guy? You know, you got to get your life figured out, bro. Um, but everyone else doing their thing, man. Everyone else doing their thing. Oh, oh, wait. We got to check out <laughs> the Suns. Charles Barkley, dang near a triple-double, man. 31 points. Just phenomenal. 10 rebounds. 9 assists. A steal and a block. Only turned the ball over once. Went 6 of 7 from beyond the arc. I mean, man is out of his mind. Um, Devin Booker is supposed to be their shooter when 6 to 12, you know. Uh, Steve Nash still managed to get 13 points, had seven assists on the night. Dennis Johnson had nine assists off the bench. Walter Davis didn't miss a single shot. Sarah Mago had three blocks and eight rebounds. Where, where's, where's, <laughs> where's he at? Where's he at? Where's Najee at? Had six boards, two steals. Is really all you got him there for is to play defense. All right. Um, you know, no turnovers. And then also, let's let's take a look at what, what feel. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, free throw attempts in that fourth quarter. This is going to be the people who are responsible for getting you the game right here. Charles Barkley got to the line. <laughs> you know, took eight shots at the line. And then Walter Davis took five. So, I mean, you you know, got to thank those guys for helping you close this one out. But a uh, good win for the Suns to kind of get them away from that, you know, 500 territory. Uh, not a bad win for the Jazz, right? Playing Western Conference champs on the road, getting a new lineup, still get start a season, you know, starting to mesh everything. Not a bad loss for them at all, all right? Both teams got to walk away from this feeling good. All right, for those of you on the stream, I think now is the perfect time to take a, a nice little bathroom break here. So we're through this date here. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna be playing next, though. We got we got a lot of like teams that like could be playing right now. It'd be a good game. Oh, wait. That's that's what we just played, isn't it? Oh, no. It's back-to-back. -back. Okay. Well, none of these teams have like records, so let's simulate through date. See, as we get to the middle of the season, it's going to be a lot of simming, and then near the end of the season, we'll start playing more, more 
more of those games. Out to four and six teams. I like to see some winning basketball, but we really don't have anything. So yeah, two four and six teams, man. The Magic versus the Wizards.
All right, we back. All right. We got the Magic versus the Wizards. Uh, Magic apparently losing the, the last game we sent for him. Wizards starting off four of six. You know, one of these teams gets to uh, you know, take a step toward getting back to 500. On the road, I'm going to say it's the Wizards, man. I, I don't even know why they're four and six, but they're four and six. I, I probably wrongfully so. Everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me, former Tip NBA off. players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, and the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sideline. It's the Orlando Magic taking oh, on the Washington Wizards. Oh, oh, back to Penny though. Too bad it wasn't clean. We've got Hill. Hardaway is out there. there about handling that, but then there's Howard. Bro, over the small guys, bro. From 20 feet out, Dwight Howard and Shaq just uh, two go points every time down. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. So his squad has abandoned the defense altogether. Hands it from downtown. And they don't want to get and, in a Yeah, they were just worrying on open offensive from three. Efficiency. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Walls, Ooh. shot is off. For the Orlando Magic, they come into this that, one. Not a very efficient shot. <laughs> Here's Ooh. Ooh. Brady. Brady has an impressive vertical there, showing once again with how well Man. he dunks the basketball. Look them. Oh, oh, with oh John Wall returning the favor. Oh, Penny. Pick works well there. Not much resistance. It's not a high percentage shot yeah, either, but it is with John Wall. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And he got bumped on you can tell me trying to take over. First team foul. Orlando shooting their first free throws of the game. Tracy McGrady. Grady trying to eat, man. Hey, they need him, bro. They need Tracy. That free throw. Grant no Hill to be a huge oh, part of this outside game. In the arena and the inside. The last guy you expect they need all the these lanes to open up. Absolutely. Rashad. Get the white down low. And the second free throw, good. One of the most ferocious scores in the game. Yeah, win, and athleticism is so difficult to contain. Here's Wall. Yep, it counts. Wall's got five now. Well, he is making a part of it. Long and lengthy. That's it. So far. Yeah, tough, he can engage this tough shot to defend. I mean, when you're for the defense. He can you got Benny fully the game. But great. Gets it to go laid out from beyond him. the arc. And just still he's out of his reach, man. That's, that's a tough and, and teardrop. A hand up up on there. Brady, especially when oh, he's double screen. This is a bucket. From the outside. Here's oh. Ball. And it's simply oh, a wheel. Why didn't he aim it to Hayes or something? Something, something should happen. Howard, the pass to Hardaway. Off that double screen. Now, he, maybe he thought too hard about it. But now John Wall. Shoots a fader. Yep, that one goes. You know, you're going to have success when you can okay, start Dwight, shooting. I was like, wow, Dwight doing my favor doing that. Early offensively, they've been great. I guess That's not. Like hey, man, Dwight likes to be oh, far away, though. He likes to do to that. Paint work and outside of paint, by ball. you know? And you can tell uh, Arenas just has that ability as a distributor. He can pick out the ready shooter and get them the rock. Arenas against the great. probably going to be a high offensive bear. And he banks Ooh. in the lane. McGrady's got his third basket of the McGrady night. McGrady right already with eight points and for the night. The 10, I think he was surprised to find it's clear they've come in with a game plan, and it's a uh, feet Tracy. Do you think they got a mismatch? Tracy on Gilbert Arenas. They're willing to take it all night. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Right here, Tracy oh, wide open. That's mm. good. And so Howard with the assist. He's got 11. Yeah, it's, it's clear that they, that's their game. He's got as many points as the entire Wizard squad at the moment. Oh, wow. Where is Penny Hardaway? Doesn't matter. Because Shaq able to, able to do what Shaq do. And now Penny. Oh, oh, back to Shaq. 
Mouse alert. O'Neal mouse and mouse alert. And he gets mm. the bucket. It's a tall challenge trying to contain Shaq, especially when he's operating close to the basket. And here's Wall outside, rebounded by Howard. Magic leading by seven. Pass to McGrady. Oh, wow. That'll be a backcourt violation. Wow. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Yeah, that was and a an early decent block on the back of the hand. Set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Okay. Shaq out here blocking stuff on the back of his hand. John Wall, I just have a feeling he's about to mix Penny up here. Now the pass oh. to Beal. He's going to find a wide open Bradley Beal. He's as good a shooter as any. Beal's jumper does wonders for his team's offensive position. McGrady outside. Look at this. Oh, my. <laughs> Tracy McGrady is eating. The thing is, yeah, you know Shaq and Dwight are not outside threats, and they're still outside, you know, spreading the floor for Tracy. This is clearly their game plan. Let Tracy eat tonight. I mean, he getting the ball going up court. <laughs> There's some nasty screens for him. Oh, look at that screen and then the rebound. Dwight, now it's Grant Hill's turn. Psych. That's Dwight Howard. Lucky that wasn't a new. They're really lucky that wasn't a new. Using that wide wingspan to come up with first and slow. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. Here's Wall. And that's Orlando's squad, man, showing up to Washington. Stunning this crowd. John Wall, he has been proven to be virtually unguardable as well. He said those guys are going to look to take advantage of any weakness. We have to really communicate defensively tonight. Guys, back to you. Yeah, David, thanks. We appreciate the report. They're in a tough spot to try to figure out how to slow down those shooters, GM. Yeah, it's going to take a great defensive effort from all five guys. Should be fascinating to watch. I mean, oh, it's great. The shooters and limiting Tracy. We'll see if they're prepared for the challenge. Great. Oh, that was cold. Mm, off the, the I thought he was rising up. No, no, no. He dishes time. that out to Hardaway. Yeah, corner. Look at him harassing John Wall at this point. His first foul of the game. Personal Second feedback. Have we got a chance to get set? There we go. Gilbert Arenas. Oh. Trying to. He's been getting torched all night by Tracy. This whole Wizard squad has been actually. He was looking for some revenge there. Couldn't find it then, but he's going to get his tonight. Down to Believe you me. Meanwhile, ooh, ooh, I mean, look at him. He's fighting. I've never seen Gilbert Arenas play defense like that. Oh, John Wall, dude. He's breaking his own ankles. That's how it's called. Ew. That's funny. You have to honor That's my the three-point shooting of Arenas, a big-time scorer who's shown the consistency from beyond. Now here is Hardaway. Oh, and he's going for him. Trying to oh, answer back, but that three is off the mark. Unfortunate. And he couldn't make him pay. Oh, oh, I mean, dude, Tracy's Arenas still getting out there and defending that. That miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. McGrady dishes trying to get anything to, to go, trying to get back at Tracy. Look at this. Oh, back off the screen. McGrady. They run that a little deeper Howard into the paint. The he comes out right on top of the three. And look at that. Ow, see? Great play set up by You're the Orlando Tracy Magic. McGrady. You need to find a way to get McGrady's Brady or Grant Hill tall. Because once they get going, and Beal kicks to then you start Outside opening up all these passing lanes. And then it's, in for John you know, it's dinner time. For Shaq for and Howard. Comes in for McGrady. Orlando leading by eight. Mm. Howard setting the pick mm. for Hardaway. Another miss by Orlando. Hardaway has gone two for five tonight. Throws it up Ooh. high, Ooh. and he's throws it down. 
And how about the anticipation and imagination there from Hunsell? Sees the play Great. developing <laughs> and delivers the pass Ooh, right on there. time and on target. Now, here is Nelson. Look at that. And Howard finishing it off. And, and Howard still has more than enough lift here to finish off plays four four. like that. We got pretty much a... Uh, Wendell Carter and Nelson coming in for Orlando, and I think uh, I think for Washington, Earl Monroe is out there, but everyone else, the rest of the starting five, still on the court. Outside Hill. Oh, Grant Hill couldn't make a play. Defense just giving him the easy look there. Orlando, you gotta make those shots. Here's Hayes. Man, Hayes is making Howard look goofy. He's been playing so well for them, but right there in that play, he looked like late goofy. defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Three minutes left in this first quarter. Six points for him. Uh, now they're just going to let Howard with this uh Oh, that's another slammed in by Howard. They'll run that play a thousand times. One of the most dangerous players in the league when he rolls. If you let him. Monroe, the pass to Hayes. And out of bounds. He's trying to get him back, but not everybody can run the pick and roll. Like that. Now we got the full swaps. We got the full bench out here for Magic. And the full bench out here for Wizards. Oh, oh, hey, oh, stolen oh. by Monroe. Some actual defense here. Played. Pass it to Monroe. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance. By the way, Harris, a youngster. That one on Nelson. Probably should have had more minutes last season. But Michael Jordan's last the season never knew it. And he, he went on a nice little, little spot there, but he took a first round nice in the playoffs. He's out. So Monroe nails both of them. For a star like him, you get lots of nice close first quarter here. And he's great at Especially, oh, where how Orlando Back came out swing with the screen from downtown. Washington's done, done all right. Over to the left. Oh, that's a, that's a, uh, he wide open. Nice shot by Black. And the magic lead by Nobody was around him for they had assists now. Ten foot reasons. Three baskets. Monroe looking around over Nelson. Monroe's shot is good. <laughs> the shake oh, <laughs> I mean, picking up uh, multiple people at the same time. Who just kills you with that change of pace? Mm. Back to Nelson. That's a little, ooh, jacks up a three. Oh, a fading three. On the scoring column with that bucket. One wow, he's got this game. He's got it in his bag like that. An incredible start here early from long range. Here's Harris. Oh, I like that string. I like that they pass it out the to him. Nice. All the defender the to him. Close him. Yeah, GA, the pick and then he passed it back immediately and he was able to run that screen. Yeah, like and that, the that's what made that the pass shot. out to him initially is what made that screen to okay, the back. Ooh. And it's blocked. 59 seconds left here in the first quarter. Kicks it to Harris. No good from outside. Magic Harris, you gotta make that. Earl said you open the platter. Oh, oh Wendell! With the jam. He gives a little up maybe. Size you know. center position, but his leaping ability? Well, let's just say that makes up for it. Monroe, right side. Oh, first in here, though. There's the pick. Ooh. Here's Shinny. He's a bucket as well. Phil Shamir. Romo Rowe, he distracted him, but Phil Shamir. Hey, he's a walking bucket as well. This, this backup Orlando squad is going to have their hands full with them. Wow, Burks. Good Boy, for Harris. Basket, hey, starting off one them. for one with that shot. I'm not this sure is probably going to be the last possession. That possession. I mean, in this first quarter. Ooh. The defenders. And they're, they're going to run ice over here. Ooh, ooh. Shoots over Burks. Oh, that's that's not gonna. Oh, he got that to go. Oh my! Wow! 
Wow, that was tight defense, and he got that to go. That's crazy, because that makes it just a four-point game. Going into the... I, I think the Wizards come back and win this. I really do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 17-point game. Uh, yeah, this, this, this is Wizards' M.O. right here. You know, scoring 40 points a quarter. Uh, they're solely focused on offense and offensive efficiency. I mean, 62% from the field, 50% from Yanni Arc, but an even more impressive 20 for 20 from the free throw line. They, they, they got 20 attempts and they made all 20 of them. That right there in itself is a dagger. You know, and it's not like Orlando did. I mean, they scored 135 points themselves. They shot solid field percentages, you know. But I mean, just the way they got after, you know, the the, the way they, they, they just passed the ball. It was so silky, so smooth. And also, look at the bench points. They're about the same. You know, you know, they did it with their starting five. They were just absolutely they, they had a rough first quarter. But then they absolutely scorched him for the rest of the game. Tracy McGrady, I mean, he came out here. He did his thing. You know, he had 23 points, 12 assists on the night. Dwight Howard had a double-double. Jameer Nelson almost had a double-double, right? You got people like Bob Burks going 3 of 4 from beyond the yard. Grant Hill going 6 of 8 overall. Uh, Penny even getting 14 points on 4 of 11 to do it, you know. Shaq even had 12 points, but it's like, yo, Shaq had two rebounds for the whole game. My man's had two rebounds for the whole game. Okay, Wendell Carter Jr. played eight less minutes than him and had three times the amount of rebounds. That's just unacceptable. You know, you, you need Shaq to get them boards. Those extra possessions could have made a huge difference. I'm not going to say it's going to make up 20, you know, 20 points, but uh, I mean... You know, you look at like even you know you got even you got a rookie out rebounding Shaq. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a good look for you. Got people coming played. This man played not even a fourth of the time that Shaq did in the game and out rebounded him, bro. So yeah, that's it's a huge thing. But also, I mean, just um, you know, maybe you want more from Penny and Grant as well. Like I, I don't know. It's it's tough. It's tough to really nitpick. But, I mean, John Wall, you know, kind of like, okay, you know, maybe he's going to drop 40 on us. I mean, maybe he, he's the hot quarter or whatever. Bro, he really did drop 40. I mean, dude had 35 points. <laughs> um, Gil had 28, right? Bradley Beal had 14, but he had 12 assists. You know, uh, I, I mean, dude, Wes Unseld had 12 rebounds. Or 12, dude, this dude is 6'6". Six, six. Six seven, dude is six seven. <laughs> okay, and this man had twelve rebounds over over Shaq and Dwight Howard. Like that's crazy in itself. Uh, so I mean, and then but just off the bench though, you know, fifty percent right. Uh, hold on here. Uh, Monroe, I mean five of eight. Chenier four of seven, two of four from beyond the arc. Then you have Mayo with two of three. Uh, I mean, so, you know, people were doing their jobs on the bench that kept it compelling and, and, but I mean, you got John Wall, Bradley, you know, Gilbert Arenas and Bradley Bill clicking like this, it, this, this Wizards team is, is hard to stop. Man. Dang, bro, the Celtics are nine and one, and Larry Bird is literally doing it all for them. That's that's wild to me. That's wild. Wimby's pretty much doing it all for the Pistons, but literally, Larry's literally doing it all. <laughs> that's so wild to me. Um, the Bucks ooh, falling to three and eight. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to watch that. Nope. Okay, that's it. That's it for the, for the day there. Simulate through date. 
Okay, simulate through date. Oh, oh, cool. oh this Jazz Squad, man, five and five. They're, they're hanging in there trying to stay above 500. Uh, Hawks are six and four. The Hawks always seem to do surprisingly good in the regular season and then just flop hard <laughs> in the postseason. Uh, nobody, two 10 and one teams, bro. But yeah, nobody, nobody with a like record today, so. Simulate. Oh, two six and five teams winning ball. The Jazz again, man. A double feature for the Jazz, and then this Grizzly squad as well. Uh, hey, let's we'll take a better look at it here in a second. All right, man. Up next, we got Jazz versus Grizzlies. Uh, I mean, Pete Maravich has been off the chain 23 points a game. Carl Malone is on the bench and leading them in rebounds, which is crazy. Um, uh, Stockton, you know, almost 10 assists a game. I mean, these are elite numbers people are putting up, but over on the Grizzlies, I mean, you got John Morant with 22 points. You got Randolph Mullins with nine rebounds and you got Mike Conley with 10 assists as they've been starting to click, uh, this Grizzly squad making the playoffs last season, but not doing anything in them. This jazz squad has yet to make the playoffs in this entire series. They're hoping that this year they can turn it around and at least, you know, get to the playoffs. Um, I, to be honest, I, I'd hate to bet against the Grizzlies at home with the, the young talented roster that they have, but I, I'm going to do it anyways, man. I, I think the jazz are going to win this man. I don't know. Maybe right, I, I'll amend my statement. I think Sports, I think the NBA Jazz. Action. If, if, if Pete Maravich, NBA champion you know, Steve Smith, and, click, and our reporter Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. But lately they've been clicking. So, so, so yeah, I'm gonna stick with Jazz. Gonna win. So here are the Jazz starting five. We've got a no former good. rookie of the year Here's versus D a potential Simmons. rookie of the year. Simmons, he's been phenomenal. Here's Stockton. Oh, behind the oh. Oh, yeah, they click it. And that's what they want to they do. Click it. Get him open looks early. Down Stockton behind the back. <laughs> Dribbling. Finding Pete in the corner. Outside Conley. Up top, Jackson. Pass to Moran. Six on the shot clock. Takes a three. Hits the Ooh. trifecta. Right in the mouth of John Stockton. Utilizing that height advantage right to its fullest. Simmons. Here's Maravich. Oh, Launches look at him now. Another one. Mm. It's Utah with a three. Mm. Exchanging buckets from downtown. Look at him, bro. He's been 21 points, seven and assists, multiple steals. And the fans love it as well. Now here's Moran. There's Jackson oh, with that's the three. Go. Tries again. Oh, great and rebound. Mullins. Pretty the sure end that of the was... day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. I'm pretty sure that that was. Might have been Simmons blocked, but still went in. From deep three point Ooh, range, John Stockton. His shot is off. We all know he's a good shooter. Going from eight deep. Uh, I don't think so. You know, we're Not really set to speed. Further and further back to great space. Leads to an easy three. Tougher shot. On the other end, Karolinko. Jeez. He got fully down low. Yeah, he's been good for double digit points. So far as yet to miss. He's 99% from the free throw line. <laughs> And 
The second hmm. free throw is good. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Outside Moran. There's the three. Crops in hmm. the three. Moran's got when you got that points. screen and stick like that, you yeah, man, if you're the Grizzlies, you got to just feed John Moran. I mean, you got him on a smaller guy in John Stockton. Um, 15 feet away. You know, call that pick and roll and let him go to work. But goes up and lays he over it three people, it though. Get I don't think he three now. Now. And and he goes, Then he puts it back up. The audacity. Getting a little aggressive down there in yeah, the the reason I feed y'all. Get a little double screen. Let him drive. Force the fouls. Force the help. Whatever. I don't mind that. He's driving kick with John Moran all night. And he drops the first. As young as John Moran is. I'm impressed. He came in ready to mm. lead a team. Surprising and these guys, there. they follow him. Here's Stockton. Oh, Stockton. The Couldn't get that to go. You could tell he was hesitant. And shooting that. Outside Moran. Pass to Walker. Let's it go for He's going a little cold. Utah with oh. the rebound. Mullins. Great efforts on the boards tonight. Now Simmons. Stockton just can't get anything to go. Unusual for him. On the Jacks. Concentration fails to finish the play. Cool it on. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Stockton. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet. Oh, he saving the play, and nobody can do a thing. He, Maravich, is giving his heart and soul to this game right now. This Jazz squad. Down low. It's not able to help him out any the way, shape, or form. And now, look, the Walker's wide oh, open over there. From range. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Everybody's falling apart. Nobody's doing their jobs. From deep. This Jazz squad. The At this jazz point, bro, can't hit. the green yeah, light that you need to stop them clearly range. needs to be red. Conley not yellow. Red. Red. Oh! Oh, we should take this one in transition. Oh, Moran and still, John, the court. Moran John Morant, what an epic Both block by John Morant. But, I mean, Stockton, has he made a shot tonight? They find themselves down eight in a hurry. And Utah calls time here. And they're Utah still going to inbound to Stockton. That's wild. Here's Stockton. Looking for his first basket still in this one. I mean, it's that's <laughs> a clean block there on the three. And now it's <laughs> Stockton <laughs> trying to <laughs> pick up the charging foul. John Morant. Oh, man, what a hand in his face, too. What a dunk. And we got a, a problem here. Well, I don't even know how much of that we got. We got a knee. Here's Stockton's going ice cold. Nice shot by Kirilenko. You just keep driving, driving kick, man. So still, even though you ice cold, they're still beating you up like you a threat. Outside Moran. Take advantage of that. John Stockton. To the right it took wing. five years to get there. Jock could have exposed him. With the fade away. Doing this man a favor. Man, he can't sink that one. He's two for four in the contest. Apparently, you better push some pace on that. It's been a struggle for 
Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Marovic. Sinks mm. the trade. That's, that's what 11 you need. points Who's in the for? game. Can't blame the deficit on Pete, him. Bro. He's been you scoring at will this period. They he said 11 of your 14 Here's points. Moran. Keep beating oh, him. Oh, man. Oh, my. As creative as they come, John ja Moran has a style ja that's hanging all over the rim. With a screen on Walker, cuts off the pass. Oh, oh, Randolph Mullins. He been playing out of his mind. Oh, he been playing out of his mind. Now a ten-point Memphis lead. Oh, this man out of his mind. Great flow and great execution, defensively and offensively. Oh, here's Marovic. Here's Simmons. By seven. I was just afraid to pass. The board. It goes right in for the putback. I love it, VA. Yeah, wanted to close the gap. Makes sense to get pass aggressive the on back. the glass yeah. here. Now here's Conley. Well, he hasn't mm. scored yet, but I'm sure that'll oh, change. Wow. Okay, that's frustrating. You Might not able to get things to go. Now they're, they're putting you the ball in Pete's like hands. That this is what you got to do. Simmons with a screen on Jackson. Let him create the, the lanes here. Now here's Simmons. Maravich. Oh. Target he from always can pull the trigger, bro. He might be a little too trigger happy, but at the same time, it's like I don't blame him, bro. Outside he doesn't get the ball nearly enough, so he's just trying to, you know, make the most of his Here's opportunities. And he mm. drops that one in. And Memphis leads you know, he's by ten. Point guard, man. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. And Utah calls time oh. here. A line change here see. for Utah. Yeah. Full swap. Utah. Here's Griffith. Fires the three. Nails mm. it from beyond the arc. Nice move to get inside. Not a swap for you. There's a little drama around stuff there. Everyone else is swap. Outside Moran. Throws it up high. My <laughs> incredible vision for a younger player. John All right, that's great. A yield distributor. And here are the Jazz. Williams finds Hayward. Here's the three. Mm. Oh, mm. again, yeah, the jazz him. from deep. Back He's to back to three. Hayward Making from... their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Deep. You're not quite right, used to that. 14 points for him. Out, so. On the take. Great oh, screen. John ja Morant. What an athlete this guy is. John ja Morant is talented. Dunking as all over people's control. heads, man. Passed him alone. Here's Danley. Still getting warmed up offensively. Ooh. No buckets yet in the game from yeah, him. That's the Malone MO right there. Leaping ability <laughs> allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Now here's Moran. Six point game. And there's the screen. Ooh, John Moran's killing him. Grizzlies with another bucket. John Moran's what absolutely nice scorching. John Moran showing off that versatility. He's got to have 20 points. Probably. At the offensive end. Malone. Ooh. Perfect night Ooh. so far. Oh, nice little two. move by Carl Malone. Enough shots in close to play inside out. He, he did that that pose right there, actually. Uh -oh. John Marie. Oh, wow. Durraheem wide open. At this point, man, John's so hot. You feel like if you get the rock, they've been the more efficient team. You gotta have it, Drew. Right? You don't want to be the better like shot. The reason they, you know, this dude's going off. You don't want to lose this game. <laughs> He's playing like this. Like you want to win the game for him, you know. Here's Bibby. It's not gonna be me. I'm not gonna be the weak link. Outside Moran. I'm making the extra pass. 144 left in the first quarter. Won't see him miss that one. Too many times. Shot. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back not to. Not only again. telegraphed. Oh, oh man. Dude, Moran's They're just throwing it down. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense hmm. since the opening tip. I'm really trying to make this too much about him. Grant. One eleven left in the out. first quarter. That's a bucket. No. Point range. Oh, okay. That was. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. He probably Williams did. From and for range. good reason, too. He's Knocks on fire. The long J. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist yeah. this job, and a turnover. Good job, e. Stop playing with yourself. Here's Bibby. Watch this bucket right here. 
But he's now working to get soul. open still, too. That's crazy. He's got so many points. He's still working so hard. Three. Good. Five points in the game. And because he's so long, Griffith has to be leading the way to Because if you leave him to go cover, like, why would you leave him to go cover? Well. Even though maybe he's going to go. You know what I'm Oh, so you're going to leave John Graham out of him? Yeah, yeah, right. Memphis. They lead by 11. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Oh, uh, look at it. Now you're going to take him to deep waters. Get a screen, a nice screen for Powell. To the middle. And that one's good. Gasol. Easy. Nice scoring move inside. Chris Harman, this should be the last possession of this quarter. We're going to see how many points John Warren has. Now Williams from 17. And this is it. John Moran got 20 points in the first quarter, only missed one shot. That's absolutely wild. Uh, they find themselves up 13. I said the Jazz was going to win this. I think I, I think I have to switch, right? It'd be crazy if the Jazz came back right. and won this. Oh, they made it close, though. They, they made it close. Well, let's see if they actually made it close or, or what. I mean, they were down five and a half. So, yeah, they did make it close. Uh, but then still, I mean, down 11 in the fourth. You know, kind of a bit of a... I mean, they, they they were getting to the line. They were trying to push the pace, but it's just too much, man. That first quarter uh, sealed it for the Grizzlies, man. John ja, ja going off in that first quarter. I mean, that, that put the, the, the Jazz away before they could even get started. Despite, right, them passing the ball better throughout the game, getting more assists, despite their bench scoring 20 more points than the Grizzlies bench. Despite them absolutely dominating the boards, and despite them even even getting to the line relatively, uh, you know, a lot of times shooting very solid percentages, they just couldn't get it to go. And I'm I'm a yo I'm gonna blame John Stockton on this one. I don't even care what the box score looks like. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame Ja or not Ja Ja at forty though, but I'm gonna blame John Stockton. I mean, bro. He had nine points. Sherry had ten assists. Sherry had multiple steals. The man went one of five from beyond the arc. Four of eleven overall. He did absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, Pistol Pete's cooking up twenty-two and seven rebounds from the point guard position. Five assists. Dude's absolutely dominating. You got Sean Simmons off the bench, being an absolute menace as well. Kirilenko with a double-double and six assists from the power forward position and, and three blocks. Only missed two shots on the night. Gordon Hayward only missed two shots on the night. Adrian Dantley went 50%. Carl Malone, sure, he had a rough night as well. And it's like, why are Carl Malone and John Stockton the weak links of this Jazz squad? They shouldn't be. They should be powerhouses, but they're not. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. And I'm going to blame their entire loss on Carl Malone, but more specifically, John Stockton. Three turnovers, zero points in a whole quarter of basketball, taking way too many shots, shots he should have never taken. Uh, absolutely, you know, piss poor. But also, I mean, you know, not taking any credit away from John Morant, who, again, I, I got to gotta put the blame on John Stockton because not only did you not do nothing on offense, you didn't even slow John down on defense, man. <laughs> he scorched him with 40. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the first 40-point game we've seen of the season. I could be wrong, though. Uh, and then, of course, Randy Mullins had a double-double, 14 assists from the center position. Dude, dude's built different. Um, two of four from beyond New York. Jaron Jackson Jr. was able to get out there, open up the floor, do whatever he wanted to. Mike Conley had multiple steals, multiple blocks. It, they really, it's not like, I mean, yo, Paul Gasol didn't miss. Randolph didn't miss. EJ Cameron went three of five. It wasn't like the, nobody here like went crazy off the wall or anything except for John Moran. Um, and, and Randolph Mullen was probably realizing it, getting them boards, passing it right back out to Ja, letting him go to work. You know, feed the hot hand. That's the lesson for today. Let's see who else we got, if we got anyone else.
you know, right now, as we're speaking, one of these videos for one of these games on YouTube is, is popping off, man, doing 4,500 views. We're just now getting started on YouTube, that is. Um, shoot, by the time this goes up on YouTube, it'll probably be May sometime. Uh, but yeah, it looks like that's that's it for the night here. Let's see, simulate through. Also, let's see what, let's see what the boys are doing, man. Yeah, look, he outlast trials. See, look, look, these mother fluffers really try to get on and play without me. That's 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 wild. That's wild. That's wild. Oh, there we go. Five or six trailblazers versus five or six nets. And then we got, yo, the Bulls are four and eight. That's crazy. Defending champs, four and eight. It's crazy to swing in this game. Oh, and then we got six and five, six and five. I like that. Yeah, we see a lot of like mid pack records, barely over 500 records, you know. Um, and then at the end of the season, we'll, we'll, we'll show a few more games near the end. That's going to do it for us, man. That's that's going to be the one right there. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, I, I, I don't know how we're going to do that. What are we going to do with that? But that but that's it for us, man. Just quick little. You know, a little, little hour and a half, two hours. Um, of course, we're not done. I'm going to get off for just a little bit, and then we're going to hop right back on, but we're going to be on out, uh, Outlast Trials for sure.